pale summer moonlight shimmers on the sea floor, an octopus, unaware that dawn will bring capture, rests within a trap, dreaming fleeting dreams. Ahoy, Octoling! Up and at him, you lazy wiffle waffle! This fight ain't over! Prepare for a royal whooping! But there's no honor in defeating an unarmed opponent, and you seem to have lost your weapon somewhere around here. And just where is here anyway? Last thing I remember, you were battling my prodigy, Agent 3, in Octo Valley, when both of you were suddenly attacked by someone. And somehow we got marooned here. So, uh, how's about we call a temporary truce while we find a way to escape? But where are my manners? I haven't even told you my name. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary new Squidbeak Splatoon. And you are? Psst, this is the part where you tell me your name. By crack, and you lost your memory when you hit the ground? You can't remember anything about yourself? Anything at all? Well, I do remember one thing. Alright, so? Choose to be a, bur a boy or a girl. I'll go with a girl, because this is mostly what this Octo expansion is all about. My skin is... I go about this color. My hair is, like, yep, long like that. My eyes are... Yeah, I'll go with blue. That's me. Most interesting. I noticed you were humming the calamari incantation right before you came to. Could it be, has this heavenly melody been etched into your very soul? I'll take your stunned silence as a yes. I've heard tell of Octarians whose souls were etched by those squitastic grooves. But that was a couple of years back during Agent 3's battle with DEJ Octavio. Still, I can't shake the feeling that this is related somehow. In any case, sorry for sicking Agent 3 on you back there. Any fan of the Squid Sisters is a fan of mine. I mean that with all my hearts. Now dust yourself off and find your land legs. We need to get moving. Let's find a way out of here! Alright, so... Welcome to the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, everyone! This is your host here, LSF Chaz Gaming here, bringing you a new series content available for Splatoon 2! This is marking the 5th anniversary of the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, and I will be playing it today. And I am going to be playing it through the whole thing, 100%ing every level with every weapon. And of course, uh, defeating the secret boss, which, like, m every fan hates. Because it's so freaking hard. Alright, anyway. So, oh uh, yeah, so this is like, I'm gonna hopefully do this before a Nintendo Direct comes out, because I know it's gotta be this month, it's been four months since the last one by the time I'm recording this. And then, and, and yeah, we gotta worry about the side order DLC, which, uh, let's, we'll, we'll find out if it's better than this DLC, who knows. Alright, so we got a, we got a subway here. Yo. This area is inaccessible uh, when uh, when you leave it by going on the train, like this one here. Uh, Alright, so... Oh yeah, and there's only one way to go through. It's a big tunnel over there. Alright. So yeah, we got some puddles of blood here. Okay, that's not really blood, I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah, so we somehow go, we somehow leave this mysterious uh, subway in and go into a tunnel. All right, and then and then we can't actually go back. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, we're like, even in octopus form, we can't go back now. Alright, so I prefer taking things- Oh, what in the devilfish is this place? Proceed with caution. Yeah, so I, I- I personally like taking things nice and slow because, you know, we're in a mysterious- We're in a mysterious place after all, so I like taking things nice and slow, like- Like I'm a secret agent, which I am. Uh, by the way, uh, we got some mysterious IV bags here with mysterious, uh, uh cyan-colored goop. Hey, that's an Octarian vault! You need a key to open it! Being an Octarian and all, you sure this doesn't look familiar? Alright, so now we got an- we got an ink rail over here, but it's been deactivated, and we're gonna have to activate by stepping here! There we go. Alright, so here we go. We got- we got this, uh, test tube thingy, I forgot what it was called. Anyway, we could take a weapon, and a- and a sub-weapon with us now. Now I have a weapon! Booyah, that contraption back there gave you a weapon! Alright, yep, so this is... Doesn't seem like any other Octarians are here. This place might be abandoned. Find that key! Okay, yep, so we have some more IV bags here, which is, like, very creepy. Yeah, and this is... this is what, uh, te uh This is what they this is what the supplies they use for testing people. Alright. Uh, you don't get any bonus awards for, uh, getting rid of all these, but, uh, I'm just doing it anyway because, uh, because, like, you can't go back here, ever. Kevin, that's a blowfish. That'll, like, kabloom everything with high power. Those are, like, this, those are super sturdy crates. Oh, there's a sponge block. Wow, that really, that really sized up. I see a grapple link up there. There we go. Alright, and this is where the key is. It's had this really sturdy crate wrapped in plastic. Ahoy, oh, you found the key! Now head back up there to that vault. Alright. Alright, so now we have so now we have to step back here and then we lose it. That contraption stole your weapon back. Boo uh, bunch of hooey if you ask me. Well, it wasn't really mine to begin with anyway, so what do you know? Alright, there we go. So now the path is open. This looks a little sketchy, but you're gonna have to check it out. Yes, I do, unfortunately. Well, we found a way out. Sort of. Where are we? Uh... Oh, something's up there. Oh, alright, so yeah, we're in like a, some sort of... The, the main part of the subway. Uh, it's a telephone! Answer the phone! I don't know how to answer the phone. Okay, fine, I'll answer the phone. Searching for user ID. User 10,008 confirmed. Greetings, 10,008. Your current location is Deep Sea Metro Central Station. My primary function is to facilitate your journey to the Promised Land. Please do make your acquaintance. Assessing communication efficiency, efficiency 12.42%, enabling contemporary speech mode. What is Krakalakin, home skillet? Let us bounce to the Promised Land, faux show. I am bout it, bout it, so listen while I slang not found you the facts. You have spent your entire life in the dark, your eyes closed to the new hotness that awaits. The promised land, a utopia of light beyond your wildest dreams. It is all that and a bag of cool beans. I will take you to the promised land now. Not! Ha ha ha, psych out. Only cats who have proven themselves can err the promised land. Do you dig, dog? There have been 10,007 applicants so far, which makes you applicant 10,008. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo, good luck, and slang not found. This is Deep Sea Metro Central Station, the real dealio central hub of the facility. 
Here is your CQ80 and CQ card. They are so bad. And I get a giant device from wherever that came from. Guard them with your lives because if you lose them, you will be error. Now come on, ride the train. Audi 5000. Applicant 10,008. Eh, that's a beak full. I think I'll just call you Agent 8. This promised land must be the surface. I wonder how deep underground we are. There's no time to waste. Come on, Agent 8, grab those new dealy doughs and get moving. Alright, so here we go. We have our CQ card and CQ device. And now here comes the train, which he called Audi 5000. Like, oh my, like, oh my god, that's, that's literally the name of this train. Alright, so now our real adventure begins, even though we are just literally stuck in one giant place full of tests. Alright, yeah, you can't talk to the phone anymore. Alright. We can talk to you though. Where the heck are we? This place gives me the willies. Got any Krabby Cakes? No! Just get on. Just get your hindquarters on the train, old man. Alright, so the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. We go! I'm pooped, Agent 8. Gonna rest my cuddle bones here for a bit. Oh, someone's coming. It's a sea slug! Thank you for using Deep Sea Metro today. I am your humble conductor, CQ Cumber. You gotta be squirting me a talking sea slug! Pardon me, I take it this is your first time riding with us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come all the way over here. Here's the deal. We're in a vast underground facility operated by the Camabo Corporation. It's a series of test chambers connected by the Deep Sea Metro subway system. I see that you're in possession of a CQ-80 device. I take it your aim is to reach the promised land? That's right, we want out of here. Understood. The promised land is a paradise to which we denizens of the depths are forbidden entry. To reach it, you must pass a test at each Deep Sea Metro station. You must also find and collect the four thangs. When all four thangs have been gathered, the door to the promised land shall open. So we all we gotta do is pass some tests and find some thangs and we can go home? I believe so. Let me show you your first test. Press X to activate your CQ device. Okay, well I, okay, well, I was literally thinking like I could just like do something else. All right, here we go. The promised land awaits. Oh, what in the blazes technology these days. This is the Deep Sea Metro map. Go ahead and select a destination. Okay, so looks like the real thing. Fake plastic station. Very good. Now departing for the first test. Alright, so off we go to our very first test facility. At each station, the available weapons will be uh, displayed atop the equipper. CQ points are required to take each test. We'll grant you 1,000 to start with. The test fee indicates the number of CQ points needed to take the test. The reward is how many CQ points you will earn for passing the test. Now go ahead and press A and select a weapon. Alright, I'll take this one. This area we are now in is called a station platform. You can find me here at the, each station, at, at each stop. If you like like more info about a certain test, come talk to me. I'm always happy to help. To pass this test, you must shoot and then touch the goal. The visibility here is quite poor, so be careful. Good luck. This is a turnstile. Press A to pay the test fee and begin the test. If you don't have enough CQ points to take a test, you'll have to come back to it. Alright, so it's one. we have 1,000 we start with and we pay 100. And off we go. Alright, so we also get a... You see how that white pouch underneath the ink tank that we get? Yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's like a detonation device. If I... If I somehow break the rules, then I'm just dead. Trees? Man, this subway is weird. 
Yeah, and over up there is like a manta kite. It's a mantike. Yeah, we got ivy bags in the trees as well. All right. Okay, so we get and we get more CQ points by by breaking open power eggs, which get converted to CQ. Target acquired. Octlings are your friends, right? Maybe try talking to them. Destroy. Egad, are they really going to attack a fellow Octarian? You might want to talk louder. All right, there we go. Got him. That gate is open. I guess taking him down was a good idea after all. all right, I'm just looking around for more secrets. Oh, we got armor here that I can uh, I can take some hits. All right, seek and destroy. It's a uh, she got a hero roller, and she got a splat a splat umbrella. More trouble, double trouble. Get them before they get you. That's the number rule, one rule of the battlefield. All right, yep. So unfortunately, I have to take down my friends. Yeah, and she just baited me with that. Seems like they'd be friendly to you, yet they're attacking. What on earth for? Yeah, she just baited me with that splat brother there. I, th I literally thought she was going to hold the button down longer. Alright, anyway. Now this is the final checkpoint. We got all right, got more armor. And I know there's something over here. We got a splash down. Look at, all right, like, look at this armor. I look so badass. Seek and destroy. She got splat dualies. But she also has a special. There's th what? Why did they get one of those? Yeah, she got a splat. Yeah, she got an inkjet now. Don't panic. Hide in the trees. Scope out the land. Yeah, now she she can dodge roll because that's what dualies do. Made it through somehow. That gate is open. Is this the way out? Yeah, so about those sanitized oct uh, octolings, uh, octarians, hunting octarians, where does the world come to? Yeah, so those were sanitized octolings. They are normal octolings, but they've been s sanitized of their life and soul. They're just dead puppets inside. Alright, so we cleared the test, and we get a reward. By, kill it, by killing your friends, you get points. Congratulations, you passed your first test. By the way, you receive this memento when you finish. It's called a mem cake. Mem cakes are formed by compressing memories into physical form. They'll be awarded to you by Camabo Co. to commemorate each test you pass. Use LNR in your CQ80 menu to check out your collection of mem cakes. New stations are now available for you to visit and test your skills within. You can move freely to any station, mark with a circle. Safe travels. Alright. Huh? Is this thing working? Alright, so now here comes the most important thing of the Octo expansion. Okay, well not really the most important, it's just like one of the mo one of the really important things. Oh, I hear something. Come in, Agent 3. Agent 3, do you copy? Mic check, one, two! Who the heck are you? Excuse me? Earl, didn't anyone teach you to respect your elders? Well, who am I speaking to? Where is Agent 3? State your names! I think I asked you first, dude. Anyway, I'm Pearl, but you can call me MC Princess. My deets, I'm short and sweet. I spit that fire, make posers perspire. Step to my game, I'll bring the pain. I'm never shook because I'm off the hook. Oh, check it, kid. Are you stepping to me with a rap battle? McCraig in the house. Call me Kevin Craig, but I'm not because I cuddle fish. Smooth like butter, but bitch, you wish I could stunt my flow like this. Okay, you two, that's enough! Mr. Cuttlefish, was it? We found a radio here and heard your transmission. We're currently on Mount Nantai. Where are you calling from? Mount Nantai? Why, that's near Octo Valley! Agent 8 and I were there, but someone seems to have taken us underground! I see, so you and this Agent 8 don't know where you are? Sorry to hear that. But worry not, from now on we'll have you'll have me, Marina, aka DJ Hyperfresh, supporting you. I'll get to work analyzing your surroundings, and hopefully I'll be of some help to you. 
I don't really get what's going on, and, but hang tight, we got you. Okay, well, anyone who loves rapping is a friend of mine, thanks for your help. We're off to pass some sort of tests and make our way to the promised land. And by we, I mean you, Agent 8. Get to it. Alright, Mr. Krebs, if you say so. Shout out to my deep sea metro crew. Check the dip and dives of my d d d dope beats. Call me an old squid, I'll bring the heat. Jellyfish down here got super long necks, and I'm old, old squid who loves cashing checks. When this journey's done, I'm gonna take a bath. Get in my way, and you'll feel my wrath. <laughs> Mad respect. Alright, yep. Alright, so. Alright, so, like, alright, so let's look at the mem cake that we got. Inkling girl orange, you paint the you paint the turf with graceful strokes with watchful eye. I breathe a sigh from sniper's perch, I go for broke. Alright. Alright, so alright, so alright, so in the next level we got is Baller Status Rollout Station. Get to the goal of the baller before time runs out. All right, so we get a baller now. That lasts forever. If you don't know what a baller is, for all the Splatoon 3 only fans, a uh, baller is to like you uh, you roll around in a in a giant invincible ball and you and then you pull down the ZR button to detonate yourself and then but apparently in this in this feature you get it back. Use the baller to get to the goal before time runs out. The clock will start when you pass through the turnstile. Each time you reach a checkpoint, more time will be added to the clock. Alright, but the one thing about the baller is that they are very bouncy, and if you get hit by an attack, you will bounce off. Oh, and I missed a squid ring. Use B to jump. Yeah, and also, and also sometimes jumping can be crazy hard. Take a ride on those dash tracks. Someone's there! Those Octarians are a serious pain in the keister. The scanners didn't pick up any vital signs for that Octarian. How is that possible? Because it's been stripped of its life assets. The baller should be able to jump on top of those ink sticks. Yeah, ink sticks are... Ink sticks are, like, will instant kill you. But since you're a baller, you'll just jump off of them. Ink sticks again? Don't hold back now. Charge! I wish I could jump higher, though. Because, like, look, I almost got knocked off by that thing. Alright, go, go, go. Oh, oh, hold on a second, Chief. Alright, go, go, go. Very nice. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> well, that's my first death. Alright, and time restarts, too, which is, like like too generous oh the goal's just that just up above go for it there, there we go and we did it if you lose all your lives you have to pay the test fee again Alright, so the next level it'll be nice air, bud. Bounce with me station. Alright, I already see the jumping uh, sanitized octa octarians. Okay, so we get a blaster and a, and a, and a splat bomb. This area you want to get in the habit of holding B after landing on bounce pads. You're also going to need to watch the movement of the ink sticks carefully. Alright, so we have to go on bounce pads with a blaster. That is going to be very fun. Check it, 8. Those Octo Nerds look like they're having fun. Blast those Octarians here, too. Alright, good, good thing they have some blast damage. Splash damage. Those Octarians, but something's... Those look like Octarians, but something's weird about them. Alright, let me get these balloons here first. Alright, alright. Good thing... Uh, oh, no! Ink sticks! Alright, jump. There we go. Ah! Alley oop. Oh, oh crap, no! Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I got to the checkpoint, but I'm going backwards. Exquisitely done! 
I almost made a mistake there. Okay, got that. Key spotted. Got it. Open the vault! Open the vault! Yes, Pearl! There we go. Get up there. Alley -oop. Glorious! Octo Sniper! Alright, so now we already get uh, like this big bad dude in Octo Sniper. He will one shot you. Because like, isn't that what snipers do? They get they get one shots. That's it. All right, and now here's a really cool weapon: the cannon. That's not available in any battles at all, except for that one uh, battle in in the Splatfest stage. Uh, like it was a uh, like 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 Pearl Cannons Ahoy or something. I don't know. All right, anyway. So all right, jump down and avoid the ink sticks along the way. Keep calm and stay on. Alright, get those power egg packs, because you never know when you need the currency. Got it. It's coming back around. There we go. And up there. Alright, final checkpoint. Goal in sight. Bullseye. There we go. And we are done. Yeah, look at us go. Alright, so we got two more mem kicks. I will read them shortly, but first we have something new, I believe. Oh, or not. Alright, I guess I could just read them. Alright, so Inkling Girl Pink. I thought it was purple, but alright. With Teres pink and eyes a blank, a smile so faint it hides your fate. Faint. You slip on past, outfoxed, outflanked. Yeah, so they got these they got these crazy poems for these mem cakes. Inkling boy green, the rolling column splatters all. A stray shot shakes the tree awake. The summer turns, here comes the fall. Yeah, we mostly just got poems for these, which is funny. Alright, so next is to it is B01 A03. Science point two, yes. Was up eight ball station. So we got so we got a square mission now. That means if we clear this, we'll have access to a new line in the metro section. But we're mostly just going to be focusing this episode on the A levels. All right, so we get we got a splash o matic which has terrible damage, but it has good fire rate and handling. Please lead the eight ball to the goal. All right, yeah. Go get it. Yeah. Hey, don't hey, don't you go playing with that eight ball. No, you take it. No, you take it. Kill. Oh, that didn't kill him. Dang. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so we got some really depressing sounding music here. With a fruit roll up up there. Oh, we got more fruit roll ups. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure that's not what they're supposed to be, but they look like fruit roll ups, like like for like for what kids used to eat. They take out this like the tape dispenser kind of thing. And that's supposed to be a grinding rail jump. Okay, uh, I'm trying to see if there was any any secrets up there. All right, yeah, get rid of you guys first. Alright, so I do not know what happens if you bring the ape if you get to the goal without the eight ball. But uh like like if it was some like secret text by Pearl and Marina saying like, hey, you stupid, you forgot the eight ball. Woohoo! Alright, get this. That's a good 25 right there. Oh, uh, by the way, if you let the eight ball drop, you, you will lose a life. Like your, uh, like that back, that thing on your back will detonate. Talk about an uphill battle. First, try getting it onto that ink rail, to that rail in the middle. And there we go. Simply splendid. Oh, oh, I was thinking I could do like a trick, but no, this ain't Splatoon three. 
All right, so head across the seesaw in a single dash. All right, yeah. So the yeah, so these kind of these surface like things, uh, they will just hold it down. Yeah, I see an ape ball switch in front of the vault. Yeah, okay. So we can either take the vault or just go straight for the goal, but I, we should really do this first. An elevator, but I guess you're not going to be able to get the eight ball onto it. <clears throat> Key located. And enemies. Ow! Crap, I got hit. Yo, though, yo, th though, these level one enemies, two shots from them, and you, uh, and you pretty much die. Alright, so now we unlock the door. That means we can now use the blowfish. Use that balloon fish to send the eight ball flying. Keep an eye out for the seesaw. It almost fell off. I just noticed that. Looks like it rolled over across the seesaw. That it did. Alright, and there we go. We're done with the mission. That was easy. And we got a little octoling. Uh, no, 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 Octarian, my, my bad. Yep. So, yeah, so we're technically on a new station right now, so we get new passengers with us. You have now unlocked two lines. You can now view them on the Deep Sea Metro map. Stations marked with the, uh, with the flashing circles contain one of the four thangs. Seek them out. I'd like to offer you a reward for finding this new line. Please pay me a visit. Alright, yep, so now we uh, access to new stuff. Oh, by the way, while well, you've been out there passing tests, Calvin Cuttlefish had some time on his hands, so we've been catching with him. We thought you might be interested, so we made the chat log viewable to you. Take a look sometime. Alright, alright, and here we have uh, an, uh, an isopod with a dashing suit. And and some weird sunglasses. Beg your pardon, young squire. Might I have a look at those trinkets you got there? Forgive me if I caught you off guard. Hope I'm not too off-putting for the child. They call me Isopadre. That's not my name, mind you, but it's the only one I recall now. Down here, we call those thin slices of memory mem cakes. I've spent an age or two here in the depths, hungry for them. They're my only link left. At least I still remember my own days as a test subject, though I washed out early. I pray that you'll be the one to cut through the gloom and light the way to my dreams. Share your mem cakes with me and I'll repay the favor. Safe travels, young squire. Not so sure this isopadre is playing with a full deck. Doesn't seem like a bad chap, though. Shout out to my deep sea metro crew. All right, so let's look at the chat log. Session one, DJ Hyperfresh has joined the party. Uh, I'm trying the chat room. Hey, anyone here yet? Hello, MC Princess has joined the chat room. Ayo, it's Pearl, AKA MC Princess, AKA the Baroness of Bars, AKA MC Foreign Policy, dot, dot, dot. Oh, snap, it's Pearl. Hey Marie, uh, uh, it'll snap, it's, it'll snap, it's Marina. Hey Pearl, aka DJ Hyperfresh, aka DJ Cold Breakfast, aka the Fuzzy Dazzler, aka DJ Catch and Release. Uh, Mar Marina's, uh, Marina's probably all like, shut up, Pearl. Craig Cuttlefish has joined the chat room. Ah, 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 dude, screen name is just his first and last name. Gotta love old people, lol. Hi, Captain Cuttlefish, can you see the chat room okay on your cell phone? I can see it just fine, thanks for asking, but all my letters are big for some reason! Hit the caps lock key cap. It should be the button in the lower left, depending on your phone. By the way, I was able to hack into the CQ80, so Agent 8 should be able to see our chat logs. Test, uh, uh, test, uh, uh, T E, pl uh, dollar sign plus one at M Cuttlefish, Agent 8. We'll send you a dump of our latest chat logs every few stages. Keep an eye out. Yo, Cap, how did you even type like that? You gotta show me. <laughs> I take advice from an old man, huh? Alright, so we got a new mem cake here, but I'm not gonna show you that now, because this this video is all about uh, 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 is all about the A stages. 
Revving up your inkjet. Maverick station. Fly to the goal before time runs out. Alright. So for this one, it's a, it's a special weapon that has actually made it into Splatoon 3, which I am happy about. It's the inkjet! We can't test it here, unfortunately, but we can once we go past that turnstile. Please shoot down any Octa missiles that get in the way. Keep in mind that Octa Zeppelins have a weak spot on top and shoot them there. You can, of course, press B while using the inkjet to float a bit. Yeah, and there they go. They're just gonna fly over this place. Good thing they're not hitting this wall. I'm like, what if they break it? Alright, here we go. Infinite inkjet, activate! Remember, the inkjet needs solid ground uh, beneath it to function properly. I want that pouch. Give me that. Alright. That's it. Alright, oh, I'm oh, right, I'm under time limit, right? We just established that. Simply dashing. Okay, and then, oh, there we go, the Octo Zeppelins. They look really sinister when, when green and blue. Alright, so we gotta shoot the tentacle in order to defeat the Octo Zeppelins. When I first saw them in Splatoon 2's hero mode, I thought, like, oh my god, they really outdone themselves with, like, powerful enemies. Alright, so we got a grapple link now. Which will teleport us there. Simply dashing. Alright, we got another grapple link over here. We gotta time this right. Yeah, it, we do have an ink. Uh, we yeah, we do have a jetpack though. But we need. But our repulsion needs to be on the ground. Okay, so we got an ink switch over here. Wow, look at the view. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. All right, sixty seconds added. Alright, here we go. Goal spotted. Oh crap. Yo, watch it. Grappling ahoy. Oh, I almost got hit by that. Alright, and they want us to do this from here so we can get that pouch. Go! Oh my god! Wow, that was so close! But I'm not leaving without that pouch, so I'm gonna wait for that Zeppelin. There we go. <laughs> I ain't worried. Alright, there we go. So we can either shoot it, or just do this. There we go! We got it! Alright, now we got, uh, Splatoon 1 Inkling Boy, because of the hairstyle. Okay, all right, so the blue one, you gaze seaward with azure hope, between each blink you calmly think, as when you use a splatter scope. Okay, all right, next is blast from the past, far out station, carry the rainmaker to the goal. All right, so now we got an intense mission right here, we gotta actually play a game of rainmaker now. Um, Rainmaker is, like, not one of my best suits. Press A to choose a weapon to use. I mostly prefer tower controller splat zones. Do not even get me started on clam blitz. Recommend weapons have been given the Camabo Co. seal of approval. The reward for passing each test differs based on which weapon is used. Good luck. Alright, so, yeah, so we have to do this stage three times with different weapons. Well, you, do, you don't have to do it three times, but if you want 100%, you have to do it with all the weapons. Anyway, we have a splatter shot and splat bomb as a recommended weapon, so we're going to do that first. Switch out the weapon you're using by activating the equipper with the A button. Your mission here is simple. Carry the Rainmaker into the enemy goal. Keep in mind that you can chain, charge up the Rainmaker to fire off a powerful shot. You won't be able to use bombs while holding it, though, so take care. Okay, here we go. It's only 100 for this test. We have five minutes to do this. And here we have our enemy team. Looks like they're waiting for you. 
time to make it rain. All right, so they give you they give you they actually give you secret text if you like don't grab the rainmaker. First things first, grab the rainmaker. Uh, first, the rainmaker's barrier with your ink, then touch it to pick it up. But yeah, yeah, I'll do that. But first, I'm going to fight these uh, fight these guys. All right. Yep. So we got one with a hero roller right now, which is apparently evil. All right. There we go. Yeah. I yeah. I've actually speed run this stage before, but I like uh, but I like taking out the enemies first before doing it the hard way. These splash law these splash walls last forever. Oh, yo, where are you going? Grab the rainmaker. Uh, the one. Yeah, the guys, uh, the the octolings with the seaweed on their heads are are, are tougher. All right, that one's just gonna be perched up there, spamming bombs. There we go, dead. The goal, this goal is no good unless he got the rainmaker with ya. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I just like doing I just like doing things this way, you know. All right, yeah, and yeah, we also we also have to clear the sanitized goo. It's like Mario Sunshine all over again. Up, oh, I got hit with a vertical slash. Up, oh, curling bombs too. Oh, I've got you. I know you're there. Oh, got you. All right, that should be all of them. All right, I think more up here when you grab the Rainmaker, so, like, we can't do anything about that without it. So, let's go back and get it. I was mostly clearing out, clearing out an easy path, is all. And then, and then, like, with the other two weapons, I'll try to speedrun it. Yes! Now take that thing to the enemy goal. It is heavy, so we are slower when we're swimming. Charge up a shot and drop him like it's hot. You're halfway home. The goal's so close, stay calm. Yep, oh, there we go, dead. You ran into that one. Let's go! I saw someone. Oh, back there, huh? Got you. Yeah, <laughs> you thought you could hide. I saw you jumping out from your spawn point. It's kind of weird that how the how these octolings have a spawn point, but they don't actually respawn. Like the I feel I feel like I thought I was going up against a one on four. There are new entries in the chat log, so I sent them along. Check them out sometime. All right, there we go. We got all the A mem cakes. Wait, let me make sure I understand you. Right, you completed a whole series. That's special. That's something else. I always wanted to see a full set. All right. Well, so we got all five of the A section mem cakes. Let's take a look at this one. At last, we meet, my so-called foe. But is our fate to spray this hate? Perhaps we'll learn in the depths below. Alright, so now we have session two. MC Princess. Yo, I'm gonna cop some snacks. Peace. Okay, gotcha. Roger Dodger. FYI, I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather location data as Agent 8 passes each stage. This place must be deep beneath the surface. It seems to be under the influence of a powerful magnetic force. Too powerful for conventional models to stimulate simulate act actually. Based on the numbers I'm seeing, powerful enough to distort space-time itself. Captain, have you observed any abnormalities in your surroundings there? <laughs> I'm mock oh were you? Uh is that supposed to be some kind of secret code or did you just butt text me? Bright and bad. Okay, definitely butt texting. Hungry for sushi. Right. Anyway, it's almost like your location is in a different dimension than Ingopolis. As long as Agent A keeps passing tests, we should be able to figure out what's going on. 
We'll support you as much as we can, Agent 8. Keep it up. Alright, ride on Gnarly Rail Station. A A O one C uh G? Is that a C or G? It's blurry. Whatever, ride on. Alright, it's a C. Ride on Gnarly Rail Station. Get to the goal while riding the rails with the dually squelchers! This area is full of ride rails. You must master them to pass this test. Alright, begin. Yeah, get a load of this music. Don't forget about don't forget to use your dodge roll. What do I need a dodge roll for anyway? Oh! <laughs> what? How'd I miss that? I'm not even gonna sh I'm not even shooting anything. Oh, now I am. You activate the rails with- Oh, okay. Oh my god, that was close! Oh, oh no, oh no, crap, damn it! I got so greedy there. Okay, I changed my mind. Now I understand why we need these. Alright, out of ink. Oh, watch out! Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! That's cool! Oh, balloon! Oh, that's only one. Watch out! Oh, that's also cool! I forgot how awesome this level is! Watch your step the whole way! No, oh, I missed! No, oh, I missed! I'm Wario now! Uh, I gotta go this way. That is so awesome! Alright, watch your step. Okay, gotta shoot this, gotta shoot this, go! There we go, we got it! We're done! Oh man, that stage was awesome, I loved it. That's the Firefin logo. Alright, so now we got a new, another new rail. Another new line, I mean. Ra uh, line three. None of the four things can be found here. But you still get rewarded. Alright, and the final one for this episode. Better not tell you now. Bumping a ball station. Alright, oh no wait, that's a C. Okay, that, that's a C. I clearly see the C now. No pun intended. Alright, so the purple is a G. I thought it was a C. Alright, anyway, Splatter Shot Pro and Burst Bomb are the recommended weapons. Pay close attention to how 8 ball moves. I personally do not like the Splatter Shot Pros because of the ink consumption and fire rate. It's bouncing, it's bouncing! All right, all we have to do is bounce this so we can go off there, and there we go, it's ours now. Oh, crap. Get rid of that. Yeah, take out the enemies, because if the wrong color hits a sponge block, it will shrink, and we do not want the 8-ball to fall. Pushing the 8-ball doesn't work. Push it even more. What kind of battlefield has 8-balls anyway? What's wrong with eight balls? I love eight balls. I had an eight ball as a ch uh, when I was like when I when I when I when I reached ten years old. Yeah, like my mom literally gave me an eight ball toy as a, a, a as a birthday gift when I was like ten, along with like Angry Birds plushies when I was so addicted to Angry Birds back then. Like I used to try to collect every one of them. Okay, all right, time. All right, I have to time this. This is all about timing. Awaken your inner eye. Could you pipe down a bit, Cap? Okay. Steady does it. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it almost fell off. Ooh, how do I do this now? There we go. 
All right, so we cannot let the eight ball get touched by the bounce pads. Oh boy. Heck yeah, next! My final checkpoint, here we go. I've spotted an eight ball launcher. Launch pad located, get to it. Use the eight ball as cover. Now we gotta defeat all these enemies, and the eight ball is already doing like a lot of work for us. Hey, yes, the gate's open. Oh no, it's going away. Come back. Ow. Good thing the eight ball doesn't kill me. Uh, can you get in there, please? Oh, you very. Oh, a burst bomb. Okay. Oh, 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 so that's what burst bombs could be used for. All right. So we got a fly fish. I hate those things. And we got another new line. There's another thing there. We got it. We got to keep doing this level, though.
Hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below. To see things gaming. I'll post more content of the Octo expansion soon. Until then, this is also Chad Gaming signing off. Bye bye.